Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Invicta watch box. So let's go ahead and open up the box. So in this box sleeve packaging is an Invicta watch box. And this one is in rose gold, as you can see through the box sleeve packaging. Now let's go ahead and slide the card sleeve off from the watch box. And just setting the watch box in the middle of the frame to give you a nice clear look at this Invicta watch box or gift box packaging. So giving you a look right here and at all aspects of this watch box. It is a hard case shell storage box for one watch and you can see just how reflective that rose gold colouring is. And it is nice and consistent as well with very, very even colouring. And shininess to it. So you can see the Invicta molding at the bottom with the Invicta branding and logo on the underside of this Invicta watch box in rose gold and the latches as you can see two latches one on each side is in black and in a matte finish contrasting against that very shiny rose gold And taking a look top down at the watch box and trying my best to minimize any reflection. You can see that it does have a limited edition branding on it as well. So setting this Invicta watch box down and just turning it around at various angles give you that clear view of this watch box. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up the box. But of course, flipping up the latches on each side. right there giving you a look at the latch mechanism or design and on this side as well nice and simple design as you can see right there giving you a complete view of both sides of this latch mechanism or fastening of this Invicta watch box. Okay, now let's pop open and up the box lid to reveal the contents inside. So we can see some packaging material with the Invicta card insert. Let's remove that and set it on the right hand side of the frame or table and continuing to look inside this watch box for a single wristwatch storage. Let's remove the two packets of silica gel or desiccant and making sure we keep that away from babies, children and animals. And setting the watch box down to give you a nice complete and clear view Directly inside this watch box, you can see that it is lined with protective foam on the underside of the lid as well as in the main compartment as well. And to give you some idea of the squishiness or density of this foam lined insert. So pressing down on it to give you that detailed look 
up close and at the one on the underside of the lid as well. So you can see it does have a waveform type pattern with the foam on the underside of the lid. Okay, now just popping off and out the watch holder or pillow that's in that watch slot or compartment and giving you some idea as to the squishiness and density of this watch holder or pillow as you can see right there as I try and crush it and apply some force onto this foam material. Okay now just setting that watch holder or pillow down and continuing to take a look inside this storage compartment or slot to house a single watch and at the same time giving you some idea of the other aspects of this watch storage box by Invicta in this limited edition rose gold finish. And now giving you a look once again, pressing against the sides of that foam insert. And this foam insert is removable from its main compartment right there. And giving you a look. At the insert, so we're just going to set the watch box down and make some slight adjustments as to the items on the tabletop. So try and keep everything in full view as best I can. So you have that maximum experience of this Invicta watch box unboxing. Okay, so right there, all the various parts of this watch box. And this foam insert on the underside of the lid is applied or stuck to the underside so it's not re removable without any damage. So this time around, giving you once again another clear look as to the density of this foam insert which is removable of course. Let's put it back in to the watch compartment and this time around taking a close-up look at the watch pillow or holder so you can see it does have an oval shape. And now let's strap a watch onto this watch holder or pillow. And over here we have an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. And it is a 42mm case size watch. And let's slip it onto the watch holder or pillow. And fastening the watch onto this pillow as you can see right there nice and very snug given that the watch holder or pillow is quite dense and large so plenty of adjustability there or fitment for various sizes of watches and you can see how this 42 millimeter case size watch sits on this watch holder or pillow. And now let's set the watch inside this Invicta watch box. So pressing down firmly into that watch compartment and giving you that nice clear look. Let's take a closer up look this time around with the watch nestled in that slot.
and you can see just how secure that watch holder and watch is in that slot. And in terms of the lid as well, the lid does open to a maximum angle of 90 degrees, so pretty much upright, and stays securely in place, as you can see as I tip the watch box forward, so it does stay nicely in place, as you can see. So let's now shut the watch box lid down, and you can hear that strong thunk of the latches on either side of the watch box, and right there, giving you a look at this Invicta watch box in rose gold, completely closed now with the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore rubber clad sat nicely and securely in the box, and just to give you some idea as to the strength or sturdiness of this plastic molding of this hard shell case. You can hear just how thick that material is all round as I tap on the various parts and components of this Invicta watch box and just pressing down on the lid right there with my thumbs and with a full strong firm grip pressing down you can see there's no flex at all on the body of this very tough watch box design you can hear just how tough this box feels and sounds just from me dropping very gently the watch box onto the tabletop. Now of course just to give you some idea of the size as well, placing my hand on top of the watch box. So it does measure 18 centimeters long 14 centimeters deep and 12 centimeters tall or high. So those are the dimensions of this Invicta watch box for a single watch storage. Okay, and of course, I'm going to tip the watch box upside down just to give you some idea of the security of this watch box and how well it copes with keeping that wristwatch in place and as you can see it is sat nice and firmly in its place no issues there And giving you a look at the, once again, various aspects in terms of the fitment. Of this 42 millimeter case size Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore in this Invicta watch box in the Rose Gold Limited Edition finish. So giving you another look right there and the various aspects of this watch box Now let's close the lid down.
and do a quick fasten on the sides and a shake again, tapping on the sides and all around just to give you one more look at the durability and strength of this watch storage box. And pulling out the wristwatch and removing it from the watch holder or pillow. And of course, setting the watch holder back in. Closing the lid back up and down, and then latching up the sides, and giving you one more look at this watch box and its various aspects. And also one fine detail is that the lid and main body or base does have two holes that line up against each other. So if you want to secure a watch box with a padlock, you may do so by of course looping through the lock on either or both sides of this watch box. So that's the Invicta watch box. Thanks for watching and happy storing.